Algorithmic decision making plays an increasingly important role. Especially machine learning algorithms are used to make socially consequential decisions. Examples include credit scoring, recidivism risk prediction and hiring. But this raises the question, are algorithmic decisions fair? Consider the case of an algorithm deciding whether credit applications should be approved for three applicants, Alice, Bob and Charlie. Each has a ground truth label denoting that Alice and Bob would pay back the loan if they got it, whereas Charlie would default. However, a credit scoring algorithm predicts that Alice will default, whereas Bob and Charlie will pay back the loan. Therefore, the three benefit differently from the algorithm's decisions. Alice benefits the least, since her application is rejected, even though she's credit worthy. Bob benefits more, because his predicted and actual credit worthiness are the same. While Charlie benefits the most, since he is not actually able to pay back the loan, but he still gets it. For this reason, Alice would feel that she's treated unfairly, because she gets less than what she deserves, while Charlie gets more. Therefore, to avoid unfairness, we should choose fair decision models. But how do we determine how fair a model is? To illustrate the problem, let's consider a number of applicants, each with a ground truth label denoting credit worthiness. There are two algorithms, one and two, assigning predictions to the applicants, both achieving the same accuracy of 60%. One popular family of fairness notions is based on group membership. For instance, if the set of applicants is divided into two groups, for example based on gender or race, we might be interested in achieving equal false negative rates for both groups, guided by the idea that fair decisions are those that benefit each group equally. Algorithm 1 achieves equal false negative rates across both groups. However, algorithm 2 does not, so we would only call algorithm 1 group fair. A different concept is that algorithmic decisions should be fair across individuals. The most prominent idea here is to treat similar individuals similarly. Supposing that some of the applicants are similar, they should therefore receive the same prediction. However, algorithm 1 yields different predictions for applicant 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 respectively, even though they are similar. Algorithm 2, on the other hand, satisfies the similarity condition and can therefore be called individually fair. But we face a problem now. Given that the two algorithms satisfy different fairness conditions, how should we choose the most fair one? To answer this question, we need a fairness measure. We introduce inequality indices to measure unfairness in algorithmic decision making. Inequality indices have been studied extensively in economics to measure and compare how unequally incomes are distributed in a population. For this reason, they are designed to satisfy axioms that are desirable for fairness measures. In our work, we use them to measure the overall unfairness arising from algorithmic decisions that lead to inequalities in the benefits received by a set of users. Further, if the set of all users is divided into subgroups, inequality indices enable us to decompose the overall unfairness into unfairness between groups plus the unfairness within each group. They thereby lead to unification of the concepts of group and individual unfairness in algorithmic decision making.